Cubase Pro 9 comes with a number of new plugin enhancements, including new user interfaces, new functionality, and some exciting new plugins. The auto panner has been augmented with some new functionality where we could have different curve types as well as the ability to have different rates that can be synchronized to your tempo of your project. So let's go ahead and take a quick listen to it on our guitar group here. Just solo that. And if I wanted to go through different settings, if I wanted to adjust the phase for different parts, if I want to make it sound wider. Also, if I have it set to a whole measure, if I wanted to make that longer, I could do my multiply event. I could have one shot random or continuous random at this point just have complete control over that. So great plugin, it's been updated. New user interfaces have been added for a number of new plugins, including the envelope shaper, great for kind of tweaking drums to give more tack, make it cut through the mix. My bass track is running through the new compressor, plugin GUI here. We can also look at the new user interface for the noise gate. On my two bus, I could look at my limiter. And as we do this, you see the new graphic user interface. The maximizer has been updated with a brand new algorithm. We have the classic algorithm. It was in previous versions of Cubase, plus a new user interface. So very clear to see metering. And if I wanted to come here, I could just put on the new algorithm, I'll just simply bypass delimiter. And with that also a new plugin interface, so we'll bypass this for our brick wall limiter, or rather our expander as our new interface. And our next plugin is the brick wall limiter with its new user interface. Now, one of my favorite plugins is a new one called Frequency, and this is kind of a monster EQ plugin. It's going to be eight bands, and each of the bands can be linear phase just by clicking right here to turn on linear phase. Now the outer bands, bands one and eight, can have up to 96 dB of cut. The other bands can have low shelf, peak, high shelf, and notch settings. We see a piano keyboard here indicating what the pitch is. Now what's really handy is if I wanted to activate a particular band, let's say band four, and I move the frequency around, if I know what the key of the musical material is in, I could actually just come here and type in the frequency and say G3, and as I hit G3, it would immediately jump to that particular frequency. So now I could adjust the gain, the Q, and be able to have complete control, and be able to find the frequencies very easily. Each of the EQ bands, so let's say if I go to band five and we'll turn band five on, can work in different modes. So it could work as a stereo EQ where it's going to, which is a default setting, where we can see our stereo, it's gonna handle our left and right channels simultaneously. If you're in a situation where you need it to EQ the left and right channels independently, we can now just click here and we'll see our stereo so we have left EQ and right channel EQ that's independent for a single band. Going back, I could have my stereo settings as well as mid and side. So if I wanted to EQ the sides independently of the mid frequencies, we can have that level of control over our different EQs. So each of the eight bands can function as stereo, mid side, or left right.
We have a really good indication of what's going on visually, frequency-wise, with the plugin. It makes it really easy to just dial in the right frequencies. Now, if I go to the little setup window, there's also a bar graph frequency. So if I want to see it indicated like that, no problem. One of my favorite features is this audition mode. So I could only hear the frequencies as I adjust the EQ. So once I turn this on, I'll just come here. And as soon as I let go of the mouse, we can now hear it in context. So incredibly useful just to be able to find the particular frequencies that you're looking for. Also, if I wanted to add a number of dB of gain, I could do that directly here within the EQ plugin. So as you can see, it's a very powerful EQ, again with mid-side, left-right stereo, the ability to have a musical correlation, the ability to type in the actual pitch, the audition mode where you can just filter out frequencies, plus we can come right over here and reset. So as you can see, the new plugins found within Cubase Pro 9 can really bring your productions to life.